Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Brooklyn 08 and I collect Pandora, Troll Beads, and a few Ohm Beads. This video features the beads in the Troll Beads Delicate Kit and my design ideas for two bracelets using these beads. Before I begin, here's my bracelet of the day. Starting from the left, it features a copper spacer, the Lucky Knot Silver Bead, Golden Cave, the Silver Transformation Bead, Beige Flower, Shirako, another luck, uh, Lucky Knot, and another Copper Spacer. Now, let's take a look at the delicate kit. The first bead in this kit is Neptune's Promise, which has wavy stripes and bubbles all around the bead. Next is Pink Petals, which has beautiful light pink flower petals all the way around. The third bead is Sea Anemone. And this really is a gorgeous bead. There's, there are light pink flowers in the foreground and the background is this glowing purplish pinkish uh, color. It really is beautiful. The next bead is the rose ribbon, which features a pale pink ribbon that wraps around the translucent bead. Next is pink conch. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bead. Uh, it's pink with gray stripes and lots of beautiful glitter. Very pretty. Just look at that sparkle. And finally, Tropical Conch, which is a gray bead with lots of uh, white spots all the way around. So let's take a look at all of the beads in the kit together. Gorgeous. Really beautiful. Troll Beads did a great job with this one. I say that all the time. Troll Beads does, <laughs> Troll Beads does beautiful work. Okay, so. I have two bracelets in mind. The first will use a smooth bangle. Uh, you can see I already have the stopper on it. And it's going to use the beads in the kit as well as a couple of beads that are not part of the kit. So first is the rose ribbon. And I follow that with Vision of Light, which is a silver bead, a, a thin silver bead. After uh, the Vision of Light, I am using the Sea Anemone bead, followed by the Pink Petals bead. And now for the bead that is not part of this kit, the Aurora Stripe. Look how beautifully that bead picks up the purplish pinkish color from the sea anemone bead. I think it complements it really nicely. Following that with another vision of light bead and another rose ribbon bead. And of course, one more silver stopper 
to hold everything in place. And there is bracelet number one. I love those colors. Beautiful. All right. My next bracelet will be using the foxtail chain and the wild cherry lock. This lock has lots of oxidation that really highlights the details of the flower. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now I am going to use a threader to uh, put this d design together. This threader helps you to move the beads onto the chain. So first, I will need a spacer. So here's a spacer. Then I'm going to use um, dichroic ice beads. You've seen these before. They're really stunning beads that have lots of color variation, depending how the, how the light hits it. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna use the Napoleon's Promise bead. And then I need another spacer because I want the beads to be spaced along the chain. So that's the first set. Then I'm going to do the same thing. The dichroic ice bead. Again, look at those colors. Look at those colors. Followed by the three-in-one bead, which is um, a silver bead. And the pink conch bead. Okay, now I'm going to need another spacer to close off this set and another spacer to begin the third set of beads, which will be the tropical conch and another dichroic ice bead. And finally, the last spacer. So these are the three sets of beads that I'd like to show up on my bracelet design. Okay. So what I have to do now is take this chain. Can you see that link right here? I'm going to put this hook in the link and then pull beads through and onto the chain. Let me do this off camera for a second. Okay, so now the link is in the hook and that enables me to just slide everything onto the chain, right? It makes life much easier, <laughs> right? So here we have this set and then we have the last set, right? So everything is on the chain. And what I'm going to do now off camera is clasp, fasten the clasp and um, adjust the spacing. So give me a minute. I'm trying to achieve some balance so that the lock is opposite the middle design. And here we are. And there's the design. Let me lay it down so you can see it more clearly. And there it is, the second design, using the beads in the delicate kit. 
And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, everybody. Bye.